Okay, uh, it should be live. And I'm going to drop off here. Thanks, Nicholas. All right, see you. All right, hi, guys. Um, so I'm Nick from Solana FM. And um, if you've never heard of us, we are kind of um, the explorer for Solana. And um, you can actually see us available within Magic Eden. Um, you could briefly see snippets of us existing around the the platform by viewing um, practically, um, per se, an NFT. So maybe just by taking a look at, per se, a magic ticket. And then if you could see here, um, there are three different icons. So this showcases the three different um, platforms that are available for you to view um, accounts and transactions on Solana. And on the left-hand side, the far left, um, that's us. So just a click on it would bring you to us, and that's it. So um, what Solana FM does is that, in general, we, we focus on providing data to devs, and not just devs, but even retail users, um, quick data and brief data in Solana. So um, yeah, so this is what you get, generally speaking, when you come to the homepage. And um, yeah, we give a very reactive, proactive re um, UI for users. So um, before I head off um, to, to explain more about what we do, I think we want to know and, and share more and find out um, what devs really want, right? And so, so that's, that's why we're here. So um, just to bring everybody to your attention here is that um, we've since been launching this portal that we've been working on for the past month um, um, exclusively in this hackathon. And this is what we call a dev portal. So um, I think a couple of devs here are pretty aware of Anchor and how Anchor works. Um, so when when you've get it, when you when you've gotten your, your product de uh, deployed on on Solana, right? You would definitely need a program for you to listen to your transactions, transactions relevant to your program, and um, a better way to do this would be to have an indexer. Um, so that's what you have right here. And uh, we're just here to show you a quick demo on exactly how things are going to work eventually. So um, let me just go ahead and uh, demo you to you guys. So um, right in front of you is actually the developer, the developer portal. And um, what you're able to do here is simply put upload an IDL. So um, if some of you may not be well aware of what an IDL is, um, which I'm pretty sure you guys do, um, is that an IDL basically showcases the structure of exactly how um, a program um, is. So it basically shows you the various instructions that are available here inside this program. And it also showcases a list of um, the accounts that are involved and the arguments that are required for the um, instruction pertinent to this program. So that's, in short, what a, an IDL is. So um, just to briefly bring you guys to exactly how an indexer works in Solana FM is that um, we simply, you know, spawn a dedicated infra for um, your program's needs, listen to transactions on-chain. Um, if we find any transaction that matches your program, right, it will immediately get picked up by the indexer and the indexer will store and stash um, historical information relevant to your um, program. That's it. So um, you're going to ask, like, isn't this a bit tough? Isn't this a bit too complex? Um, but actually it's not because um, the dev portal kind of solves that problem. So what you just need to do is just, you know, gather the um, IDL and all you have to do is just drag and drop into... Um, the UI that you have here in the portal. And what you got to do next is just um, paste the program hash relevant to the program that you're uploading um, and maybe give a name. So um, what I'm going to do here briefly is just hit down the um, anchor program registry, right? APR.dev. Um, I could simply just copy the address or the account or the program that um, I was trying to get my idea from. And what I can do here is I'm just going to paste a program hash here. I'm going to say squats MPL. And then all I have to do is just submit. 
and yeah, the entire indexing infrastructure is ready. So all you have to do now is just start, and you're good to go. So the only difference um, you have here with what we have against the private products in the space is that um, you have the entire documentation at your fingertips. So I understand that the API name is a bit too long right now, but we are making um, changes to that over the next coming few days. Um, and what you can see in front of you here is, yeah, just basically the API. So um, actually, this API is pretty direct. Um, you don't actually need to make any declarations on the pub key, but you more of, you got to just indicate the instruction that you're calling for. So um, what exactly is this, right? So inside each um, program, you definitely have a set of instructions or what we call functions um, relevant to your program. So um, you, all you need to do is just basically copy this and paste the instruction name inside the API uh, alongside the program that you're trying to execute against. And uh, once you hit execute, you'll be greeted with the response. The reason why I'm not getting any pieces of information here, information here is because um, I didn't query or my wallet did not interact with um, the specified program. So always make sure that um, once you do tests um, against your program, uh, make sure it's the right pub key and hit the right instruction name that you've, you've been using and then you'll be greeted with the um, result that um, you desire. So yeah, that's, that's simply put it when it comes to... Um, the dev portal when it comes to how um, an indexer could help you um, gather data relevant to your program um, immediately off chain. So that's it. And now um, we're going to take a step forward and just jump right back to um, what our explorer does um, relevant to how um, Magic Eden is doing things. So, um, you know, many people in the space have been talking about like royalties and stuff like that. And I think. Um, some of you may wonder, like, um, what what can we do? Like, like how are we helping the space or um, what makes us different, right? So, um, a little over a couple of weeks ago, um, the core, like, like product differentiation of what Solana FM is to the crowd is that we visualize transactions significantly much um, um, deeper. So, I took the liberty earlier to uh, make a transaction on Magic Eden. I think um, half a day ago. And uh, what you're looking at right in front of you is an example of a transaction going on in ME. Here's me buying a, an SMB. And um, yeah, you can look at the far left, right? That's, that's me. Um, and I paid a 180 soul um, towards the specified seller. And that um, these are the the people like like to say if I if I hit zero percent royalty fees right, um then Magic <laughs> Eden wouldn't get anything, and then for um yeah so so I'm um, so sorry so um this is basically the bridge and then this is the person um that's supposed to receive the soul that um I was paying for, and then um Magic Eden would then dispense the token back to me I mean the NFT itself. And that's it. So, so that's basically what we do in general um, for us as an explorer and for us being a developer tooling provider. Um, we do have um, indexing as a service to this portal here. And there's also um, documentation for the APIs that we have available for um, devs who also want quick and easy to use APIs. So in general, we have three things. Um, we have the Explorer, we have the Dev Portal for indexing, and we have APIs that we provide, uh, that we power our Explorer with, and we also use them to power some of the products that our devs um, or the devs in the space have built. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, um, just before I leave, um, I would like to like like to let uh, Magic DAO members know that. Um, the secret code is radio. So, um, yeah, three three lucky devs um will also be given the white list priority to start indexing um on our dev portal. So the dev portal right now is still in um 
beta. So we're still um, gaining devs in general from accessing this portal, but rest assured, uh, we'll be opening up access to um, you guys exclusive, exclusively soon. So um, stay tuned. Um, I think the best way you can do this is to fill up a type form link. Uh, I think it's being sent over the chat, the game chat. I mean, the chat right now, right? So um, it's it's randomized. So we do not um, um, pick anyone exclusively. It's completely random. So just go ahead and um, register. All right, guys, i um, just going to repeat again. Um, the secret code is radio. All right, um, before, before I jump off, right, like, um, I want to, you know, take a look at the chat and see if anyone has any questions. Um, really happy to answer anything if there's any. All right, um, gonna pause us out from like moments of silence here. Um, just just wanna just wanna close up by sharing with everyone, right? Oh, right. Um, there's somebody asking this question. So, um, are there any limitations on how many IDLs you can upload? So, um, for the time being, um, the limits they aren't kind of um defined, but I would say that um the limit would most likely be five. Eventually, it could go to unlimited because um, the indexing infrastructure is pretty much um, distributed and concentrated at the same time. So if maybe per se six devs actually gain access to Magic Eden's IDLs um, and all six of them would upload the same IDL, um, they would then be able to share, co-share kind of like the same indexing pipeline, but just that they would have dedicated APIs. So hope that answers your question and tosses uh, a bit more information there. Um, I think when it comes to um, additional information on the entire pipeline we have, um, the Explorer is, you know, free for use. Go ahead and use it. Um, I think one thing we've been trying to ship pretty much um, um, for the past like week or so is something we call retail efficiency. So it's kind of where um, devs like you guys, right? Like, like it's, it's kind of focused on showing how you're able to pack, um, how, how many instructions and transactions you're able to pack into a block efficiently. And um, right now, the, the efficiency rate is, is kind of low, I, I would guess. Um, it's not because of like the blockchain getting hit or whatnot. I, I, would, I would guess it's because um, the ecosystem is getting hit right now. So... Um, yeah, that's that's something we've been pushing out for the past um, week or so. And um, APIs are definitely free. Go ahead and try them out. 
um, we generally cover more retail-facing use cases per se. Um, tracing transfers, tracing how money moves, um, that's something we specialize in. So just practically, you know, copying the same um, link here, right, would greet you with a much more human-readable um, list of um, objects that allow you to understand exactly how transfers work or how movements of money flow in a transaction or a list of transactions. And um, yeah, for the indexer, right, um, the indexer is going to be pretty much um, in beta. So we will answer as many questions as you have um, over Discord and um, we'll be yeah, excited to see what you guys have for us. All right, um, I'm not going to spare you any more boredom. Thanks, guys.